Welcome to Pastor's Chat today. Well, you know the greatest feeling, the greatest joy, the greatest happiness that a human being can experience, I'm convinced, is the experience, is the feeling of forgiveness. To know that you have been forgiven. I'll never forget the day, February 21st, 1971, Cincinnati, Ohio, four o'clock in the afternoon when I confessed my sin to the Lord and acknowledged that I could not help myself. I was headed for hell. And when I acknowledged that, the Lord Jesus Christ came into my life, came into my heart and forgave me for all my sins. What a joy that entered my soul. What a burden that was lifted. The guilt was gone. I felt like I didn't weigh an ounce and I could walk on clouds. For the first time in my life, I could really see. I was forgiven. 19 years old, I knew the Lord had forgiven me for all my sins. Well, that's what David's talking about here. In Psalm 1, remember, blessed is the man that walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, doesn't stand in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. The first beatitude in the Psalm was for the person who was obedient. Now here we write, read in verses 1 and 2, the blessing, the beatitude for those who are disobedient, who find forgiveness. Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man to whom the Lord does not impute iniquity and in whose spirit there is no guile. Look at these four words. They're very important in dealing with our sin. The first word he uses is transgression. Transgression, well, you don't trespass. You cross a line, a boundary you shouldn't cross. And that is rebelling against God. David knew the Ten Commandments, and David knew that adultery and murder and deceit were forbidden. And David, a year earlier, had committed the sin of adultery and murder. He felt the burden for it for a whole year. He tried to cover it up. And then when he finally confessed and was forgiven, oh, the joy that flooded his soul. And he can't help but say, blessed is the man. Oh, the joy of the man, the happiness of the man whose transgression is forgiven. And then notice the next word is sin. Sin me means to miss the mark. It means you don't measure up to the standard. It means that God has set a law and you didn't reach that law, fulfill that law. That is what sin is. And then you have iniquity. Iniquity means twisted. It means and describes what happens in the inner character. It's what's on inside. It's the motive behind the sin. Gal means deceit. Deceit, he says in some translations, in whose spirit there is no guile, there is no deceit. It means twisted. David tried to cover his sins. He used deceit to try to have, uh, he, when he had uh, uh, Uriah murdered, he used deceit for a year trying to act like he hadn't sinned. And so David knew about these four things here. Matter of fact, in verse 5, you'll read these again. A sin and transgression and iniquity, the iniquity of my sin. And so here we see the word forgiveness. Forgiveness and to be forgiven is means the burden has been released. The burden is gone. As a matter of fact, it's pictured in the Old Testament when on the Day of Atonement they would take the two goats and the one goat would be slain and the blood of that goat would be taken into the Holy of Holies and it would be placed on the mercy seat and that was to atone, to cover the sin. But then there was the other goat called the scapegoat. That goat, the priest would lay his hands on that goat and confess the sins of the people. And then the men would take that goat and begin to lead it in the wilderness. And another one would lead it further and further and further and further. And then when it was finally gone, as, as if it could never be found again, oh my friend, that's when he would say, Teletestai, in a sense, it is finished, it's over, he's gone. And the word would come back to the camp, the sin was gone. And that's what it means for our sins to be forgiven, to be covered. There, God lays them behind his back never to remember him again oh he'll never hold him against you again oh blessed is that man joyful is that man whose sin is forgiven whose sin is covered in whom the Lord does not impute iniquity oh it's done it's over it's taken care of that's what that means oh how blessed that is I trust that you know forgiveness of sins today and you trust in the Lord to be your 
personal Lord and Savior. It all happens through His cross. Well, God bless you, and you have a wonderful, wonderful day.